Maturity is not simply something that comes with age. Whether you're physically old or young, emotional maturity comes from how you act and think in life. Do you wonder if you're more mature than most? Wise beyond your age, they say. Are you often considered the old soul in your group of friends? Then perhaps you may recognize some of these signs of emotional maturity. One, you acknowledge you know very little. Along with the willingness to learn things, you feel no embarrassment in admitting that you don't know everything. Carrying this mindset creates an appetite for curiosity and the ability to appreciate learning. This also ties into the Dunning-Kruger effect where one is overconfident in their abilities, which unknowingly limits their intake of knowledge. The Greek philosopher Socrates once said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Two, you keep an open mind towards the opinions and beliefs of others. Being able to see different points of view allows us to accept others' differences in opinions or thoughts with respect, humility, and empathy, regardless of whether you agree with them or not. Do you find yourself actively listening to the views and opinions of others? Being able to tolerate the perspectives of others without forcing your opinions upon them makes you someone people can trust. Trust goes hand in hand with being approachable. The ability to have this open mind ensures that you take advantage of opportunities to learn and enrich your life with the everlasting flow of knowledge. Three, you feel no embarrassment in admitting your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in life and that's perfectly okay. Maturity is when you hold yourself responsible for your mistakes and build trust rather than deny and lose respect. In fields like business, those who accept and learn from their mistakes frequently get higher leadership positions than those who don't. Whether it's work or your mind, growth directly correlates with the willingness to acknowledge your weaknesses. How has being responsible contributed to your overall work ethic? Four. You are open and willing to accept change. With modern day advances, society is always changing. The importance of certain issues can drastically change in a short period of time. As funny as it may sound, change is the only promised consistency in life. Being able to mold our ideas and beliefs on new and reliable information helps you keep up with the everlasting cycle of change in our lives. This emphasizes the importance of being aware and mindful of different ideas and perspectives. The human race and its success is the result of our natural instinct to adapt and change to anything new. Whether it be blockbuster or Kodak film, there are many historic examples of success being toppled by the stubbornness to change. What made you change a long-held belief? Has that improved your way of thinking about yourself or others? Five, you're considerate of how your words and actions affect others. Whether you're nervous or trying to keep a conversation flowing, it's easy to lose track of what you say. Although it might be a tough habit to master, considering what impact your words will have on someone before you say them can be crucial to what others perceive you as. How have you shown consideration to others in your words and actions taken? Six, you can forgive others and let go. Ever had a falling out with someone that you felt bitter about for a long time after? It doesn't feel good, does it? Maturing is being able to put that grudge aside and move on. Moving on may be forgetting the past and maintaining a healthy relationship, or even evaluating the incident and being at peace that the two of you simply did not fit and you go separate ways. Can you recall a time when you resolved a disagreement after holding a grudge against someone? Seven, you're empathetic to yourself and others. The ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes means that you can position yourself in different situations as well as different perspectives. It can also help you understand a variety of challenges and get along with people during difficult times. When was the last time you empathized with someone and what was it for? And eight, you ask for help when needed. It's often believed that avoiding help is being independent, strong, and mature, whereas the reality is the opposite. Asking for help is admitting your own shortcomings, displaying humility, and showing an awareness of self-care. This also shows that the person has the confidence to show vulnerability and knows they will still be okay afterward. What are some situations where you reached out for help? Do you see yourself in any of these points? How mature do you feel yourself to be? Regardless of if you do or don't see any of these signs in yourself right now, thank you for watching and learning. We're all in this together. Let us know which sign you value the most and why in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching.